I do expect to get kisses once in a while. So if I can get a kiss, that's a good thing. Maybe here's a kisser over here. Let's see if this dog will kiss me. Because then I feel like fully paid if I just get a few kisses. <laughs> oh, and here we go. So now we have some... Yeah, I just got paid for the day. <laughs> that's all I need. All right. That, that might be too much. I don't get that much. Okay, that's overpaying me. <laughs> all right. You're, this is a lot. This is a lot. Wow, that's a good spot, though. Do that again. <laughs> All right. Ooh. RS was founded in 2007 by my partner Christina Chavis um, and we have been in the rescue business ever since. Animal Rescue R Us is an organization that really doesn't turn away dogs. If we're able to help, we will. We take a lot of special needs. We take seniors, we take nursing moms, we take families, um, and we really try not to say no if we don't have to. If someone wanted to make a monetary donation, they can send it via Venmo or Cash App. We also have an Amazon wish list, and we'll put that link in the description box below. So here we are today at Animal Rescue R Us. We've done a lot of videos here because we love coming here. This is Jennifer. Hello. And right now I have Raccoon in my hands. You have Marvin. Marvin. You Woody. probably don't recognize Woody. him because yeah. he's in the cone. And we have Duke, Duke sniffing by. And look, there's Nug -nug. the famous Nugget. And look over there. Don't Ava. forget Ava. <laughs> And sw keep swinging around. There's a brown dog behind you whose name actually is Brown Dog. <laughs> and there's Brown Dog. Uh, tell us a little little bit about what you do. Okay, so I am the adoption and adoption and foster coordinator of Animal Rescue R Us. I have been in the rescue since 2012, um, and the rescue has been open since 2009. Um, myself and my partner Christina Chavis, we really are very passionate about adopting special needs dogs, adopting families, puppies pretty much anything we can help with, we do. Um, and we're really fortunate. We have a great network of volunteers and fosters, and the rescue has really let us meet some amazing, amazing people like Dr. Doug. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right, very good. And you know, sometimes people comment like, uh, I, I don't charge for this. Um, I'm here as a volunteer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And people are wondering like, how much money are you making on all those dogs? And uh, we don't, we don't exchange money. <laughs> no, there's no get, money in rescue. I do get. I do expect to get kisses once in a while. So if I can get a kiss, that's a good thing. Maybe here's a kisser over here. Let's see if this dog will kiss me. Because then I feel like fully paid if I just get a few kisses. <laughs> oh, and here we go. So now we have some. Yeah, I just got paid for the day. <laughs> that's all I need. All right, that that might be too much. I don't get that much. Okay, that's overpaying me. <laughs> all right, you're, this is a lot. This is a lot. Wow, that's a good spot though. Do that again. All right. All right, listen, it's not your turn. You're gonna have to sit down for a little while. All right, that was Woody making a cameo. And we're gonna start with Raccoon today. Yep. So Raccoon, tell us a little bit about Raccoon. Tell us uh, the origin of how you guys came to be together. Okay, Raccoon is approximately nine years old. She is a mixed breed from Alabama. Um, I did her DNA and she came back Maltese, Schnauzer, um, Terrier mix. And so she's really like a Heinz 57. Um, she is super, super sweet. She has an amazing, amazing temperament. Um, and, and we're oh, talking about this one. Yes, this one. I know it's confusing. Um, she came into the rescue because her owner had passed away. Um, so it left her and her puppies homeless. I found homes for her two puppies and then fell in love with her and kept what, her. What happened? Why did you keep her? I mean, how could you not keep this dog? No, I understand. <laughs> so that was one of your foster fails. Yes, one yeah. of them. Yeah. <laughs> it um, happens it, from time to time. It wasn't your first foster fail. It was not. Okay. It might not be your last either, but um, look, raccoons already. Okay, Woody, can you just take a quick break, please? Okay, you're going to sit down <laughs> for a little bit. And we're going to just do, uh, I'll start here because she's letting me. So I'm going to just start with her little atlas and let's push her little cheekbones forward a little bit here like that. I gotta remember to breathe. Everybody take a breath in. Okay, so now I'm 
at the atlas and pushing into that top bone, the top cervical, looking for spacing between the skull and the wings of the atlas, which are the little side pieces. I'm going to flex her head or laterally flex, laterally flex. Bring the head all the way up. Hey, how are you doing? Bring the head down. Can I work on you today? Would it be okay if I do a little little tiny corrections? What do you think of that? Okay. Coming all the way up. All the way down. Who's your chiropractor? Because it's, <laughs> it's pretty balanced. She's in good shape. <laughs> pretty good shape. But the atlas needs a little bit on the right here, so I'm going to do that first. I'm going to bring this around. I'm going to pull down on the right wing of the atlas. Got it. Notice I'm wearing my Animal Rescue R Us merchandise. <laughs> if someone wanted that, it's not for sale. It's not for sale. <laughs> All right, so I got my own special Spend order. Special edition. All right, I was going to try to get you some customers. I know, sorry. Now I'm coming down the neck, and there's a little bit here at C5 on the right, right in here. And I'm going to bring the head over. Oop, got it. That one made a little click. Did you hear that? Okay. Notice my shoes, by the way. I'm wearing cat socks and fancy shoes. <laughs> it helps me do my best work. Okay, now I'm gonna come down your neck. Okay, I don't know if that's helping me so much. When you, <laughs> <miss me. laughs> Coming down the back. Now I'm here at T3. Little tightness there, but I don't think it's T3. I think it's the one next. To, yeah, T4. Can I get that one for you? T4, is it okay? What happens, your T4 went out a little bit. There it goes. Okay, coming down the back, checking the ribs. Down the back. Not bad. And now I'm at the lumbars. There's seven lumbars on a dog, 13 thoracics and seven neck bones. We have seven neck bones, 12 thoracics, five lumbars usually. Horses have 18 thoracics, although once in a while there's breeds that don't have that many. And they have six lumbars, but dogs have seven. And right here at L5, right there, that's a spot. So I'm going to support with my hand. Got it. You might not have heard that because there's a dog barking. So let's check legs now, too. I'm going to bring this leg all the way back. Bring this leg back. Can I have this one? Let me bring it towards you. Well, that one, she's a little guarded on that one. So let's try the... She keeps pulling it back. Yeah, so that one's probably not happy. That one's okay. This one she guards. Ooh, she doesn't like that one. Okay. So that one we have to find. There might be a muscle not involved. Look, that one stressed her out. Sorry. We found a bad spot in you. Want to work on it or you want to leave it alone? Let's hold you up in the Lion King pose for a second. <laughs> I don't know if that was clinically important, but let's turn this way and I'm going to get on that hip because I think this hip is a little tight. Okay, I'm going to rub it out. So my thumb is massaging out this tight spot right here. Okay, what do you think of this? Probably hurts, but kind of feels good too, right? Because you ever get a massage and it goes, ooh, but don't stop, that feels good. I think Raccoon is saying that to me. You want to tell me anything? Okay, so I'm rubbing this right now. That's what my thumb is doing. Got quiet all of a sudden in here. <laughs> Maybe if you ever need them to quiet down, just rub this spot. Yes. And all the dogs are going to And close all the shades. <laughs> <laughs> and, all, and hit the mute button. Yes. Wow. Breathe in. Let's try it again. I'm going to put you on the floor. Okay. I'm going to pull back this leg. Comes up easy now. Let's try this one. Little doggy arabesque. Beautiful. I think you're done. See if you want to shake it out, okay? 
So I'm going to let go and see if she shakes her body. There she goes, on cue. Thank you, raccoon. Come back and connect one more time. Raccoon. Raccoon, come here. Just want to thank you. Thank you for giving me a chance to work with you today. Okay, I think you're done. So what we did, let me re recap it for you. I adjusted your right atlas, your right C5. That helps with lateral flexion, and the atlas helps more with head nodding. So like if you're ever eating out of your dog bowl and it kind of hurts to bring your head down or bring it back up, or if you ever feel like, maybe I'll just lay down and eat because I'm so tired, that can sometimes be an atlas that needs to be adjusted. So that's why I adjusted your atlas today. I also adjusted C5. That helps more with lateral flexion. And you know, then I found that one at T4. I thought it was T3, but it turned out to be T4. And then I came down and I adjusted uh, L6. Your sacrum looked good. I didn't have to adjust that today, so that's good. And then I was just playing around with your back legs. And the one leg was moving well, and the other one seemed to have a bad muscle knot. So I massaged the muscle knot. It didn't really need an adjustment. I just had to massage it. And then I retested it. It looked really good. And then you shook it out. And when you shake it, oh, there's a shake out. When you go... <laughs> It usually means you're resetting everything, you kind of integrated everything, and you liked it. Is that what happened for you? Thank you for being here. Okay, thanks everybody. Leave Raccoon a little message, a little comment, okay? Who's your chiropractor? Because it's, it's pretty balanced. <laughs> She's in good shape. Pretty good shape. But the Atlas needs a little bit on the right here, so I'm going to do that first. I'm going to bring this around. I'm going to pull down on the right wing of the Atlas.